Dude, let me just say, I really love this film because it's put a concept out there. I'm like, you know, somebody's going to watch this and try to make that happen. If they haven't done it already, you know, that's about to go down. I think but, someone's probably working on it as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> but did you, did you ever think that when you were studying Shakespeare, that you would be in a film playing a human droid? <laughs> Um, I guess the answer would be no, but that's one of the delightful things about about my job is that you know uh, anything's possible and any anything can can come your way and and um, yeah you can end up playing almost anything and uh, and this one was particularly enticing and, and surprising and delightful. Well, Dan has like you know everybody would want a man. Not not Dan. Everybody, Dan, you're Dan. Everybody will want a man like Tom. Well, people will want a man like you too, but he, everybody will want a man like Tom because Tom went that extra mile. That scene with the rose petals in the bath and everything, that was so... You like that? Yeah. See, Alma wasn't really into it, but, you know... Alma but... was like, uh, no, you can get rid of that. Like, yeah. Girl. He, maybe he'd been given your programming by accident. <laughs> I don't know. He can have my program all day long. I'm just saying it was a situation. I was like, yes, for the rose petals in the bath. But what is your what is your best idea of what a romantic evening with your significant other would be? Oh, my goodness. Um, probably somewhere away from the children for a few hours. Doesn't matter where. <laughs> just anyway. We'll just go and sit in the car. It'd, it'd be lovely. <laughs> Not sit in the car. Well, at least would y'all at least order some food in or something. Yeah. Have a little, have a like little drive. Is that is that romantic? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me laugh so hard. I also want to ask you about um, your um, you are you're an editor, right? Are you still an editor of of a of a publication? Well, I don't suppose I don't think we're active anymore, but I for a while I was with a group of friends editing a, an online literary magazine. Yeah. So how does it feel for you to have to knowing that you are an editor slash kind of journalist and then have people asking you questions and you sit there going, now that you know they could have asked me this question instead. <laughs> I try and I try and take that hat off and, and put a different hat on for, for this, for this role. I think yes, yeah. And how 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 did you love working with with the young woman who played Alma? Because y'all's chemistry seems so organic and beautiful and lovely. Thank you. Yeah, Marin Egger is a very, very special actress, um, brilliant German actress who's actually acted in French a lot. So we had kind of that in common and that, you know, she she could talk about her experiences of acting in French. I was talking about my experiences of acting in German and and um she just gave such a, a such a, a beautiful naturalistic human performance that I I was admiring so much and yet not I guess responding to in the in the conventional way you know that kind of part of the fun of the of the dynamic is that you know he doesn't give her the usual feedback the usual responses and so for two actors that was kind of, it took a minute to kind of find our groove um, but I guess it meant that we worked doubly hard to find that. And um, I'm glad that comes across because, yeah, it was a really it was a very it was a special one. It really was. But well, that is my time. I loved watching you play Tom, because now that I see you on camera, you're so effervescent and he's <laughs> so like this. So it's nice to see that, you know, you got some chops. All right. That Shakespearean, you know, uh, background paid off. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. All right. Bye.